All right, welcome to my channel. I'm Joseph Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message for all signs. Take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while we're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget, eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. To my subscribers, thank you for your love and support. I appreciate every like, every comment, every subscribe, every share. To donate to the channel, you would hit that thank you button or you can follow the instructions in the description. In the description, you will also find the link for your free natal chart. You will find the address to my Etsy shop and also how to get personal readings. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share as you interact with the channel. It helps me to pick up on your energy. So, let's get to this. So, let's get to the angels of the most high God and Father God. What messages do we have for the intuitive community? Alright. So, the first card we have out is the tower. Someone is experiencing experiencing a sudden change, a change in your work, a change in your spiritual walk, a change in your love life. It could also be a sudden upheaval or chaos that is happening, a shocking event, a trauma. This could be you resisting change. It could be a financial loss or a breakup. We do see you at the crossroads intuitive community. You have two paths, two options you may be taking a risk taking one option over the other this is about decisions progress making the first steps leaving your comfort zone all right just be careful not to overanalyze the situation or play it safe if you need to take that risk we do have justice coming in for you here this could be a situation you have regarding a legal matter. This could be balance coming into your life. This could be some truth or clarity that comes your way. This could also be karma. There's consequence for every action, good or bad. So this is also you taking accountability for your situation. All right, you could be showing up as King of Pentacles, or you could have a King of Pentacles entering into your life as you make the choices that you make. This is someone who is mature, a businessman, someone who is successful, wealthy. All right, this is someone who holds an empire. This is someone who is faithful and stable, someone who is dependable, a protector. Hmm. Right. We have the Queen of Wands here. So this could be your energy. This is someone who is fiery, confident, vivacious, witty. This could be someone who is the polar opposite of someone who is stable. This is someone who can be very chaotic. This could be someone who is very flashy. This is someone who is very traditional okay this could also be gold digger energy we have this followed up by the emperor this is a father figure someone who is an authority a ceo a leader could be a leader in a community or in the business realm this is someone who is very protective and stubborn so we could have the king of pentacles who turned into an emperor where this could be two different energies to get out the resonance hmm We have someone who's blinded by the truth. So you could be blinded by this Queen of Pentacles or this this Queen of Wands, I'm sorry, and this or this King of Pentacles or someone who seems like a King of Pentacles and you're overlooking the Emperor in this situation. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who is always the victim in the situation. You could feel powerless to the situation. This could be someone trying to trap you. Take it as it resonates. Hmm. 
someone could feel trapped in a relationship in a two of cups situation or this could be the beginning of a two of cups relationship hmm. someone is feeling like they're being juggled or someone is juggling finances with the two of pentacles situation this is going to be causing you to long for balance you may need to be flexible If you are unorganized, need to get organized because that is the reason why you're feeling overwhelmed. Or you might be in a place where you are robbing Peter to pay Paul. But I do see the Nine of Pentacles coming in here, which is an independent card thriving in your work, be it business or working for someone else. Something is coming in to make you more self-reliant with this Justice card also here. Okay, just make sure that you do not spend too much during this time. You take the time to save. For some of you, you may have been spending some time alone with the Four of Swords. This is a card of solitude. There may be even a little bit of loneliness here. It is the ending of something and the beginning of something else. We do have the Four of Cups. Someone could be feeling melancholy, unhappy. But in this lonely time or solitude time, you could be receiving a lot of clarity, a sudden awareness of a certain situation that has you put up your boundaries, your walls, protecting your territory, taking the high road and but standing your ground at the same time when it comes to conflict in certain situations, when it comes to love, a partnership. All right, we can have your soulmate coming in. This is about making choices in love this could be a one-sided situation for some of you take it as a resume hmm we have the will of fortune in the reverse hmm there is a cycle that is not closed out in this situation there are some delays to opportunities coming towards you anything else I, I really do believe that this delay is because of the lack of decision in this situation. Let's go to the other deck <clears throat> and see what we can find out. Let's just move these cards down because I'm going to be clarifying these cards. If you like this message so far, if it resonates with you, even if it's a little bit hard to swallow, <laughs> that the truth sometimes can be, please do like this video. If you don't, please like it anyway. <laughs> we have the death card on the tower, so there is something that needs to be completed. This is external change, change that are happening outside of you in the physical. It is an abrupt change. So we have again, an abrupt change. We have Scorpio energy that could be your sign or the sign of someone that you're thinking about does not have to be. We have the two of swords here, clarifying. The two of wands. All right, this is Libra energy. So you have two paths, but you're frozen with indecision. Maybe even avoiding a decision that you already know. So you find yourself at an impasse. We have Aquarius energy. Not following the rules, maybe this choice you have to make is justice that has to come in. Is revealing the self-sacrificing nature that you have had, that people have abused. Coming in with flowers, with a knife behind their back. We have the four swords here. We have more Libra energy, strong Libra. Someone's not taking action. It's leaving you stagnant and exhausted. 
Hmm. Someone also could be uh, ghosting you or you could feel restless and burned out. We have personal clashes. Another fire sign for the King Queen of Wands. We have Leo energy. You have personalities clashing. There's competition, arguing, chaos. Some misunderstandings going on in this situation or a feeling of a lost opportunity. We have the Ten of Swords on top of the Emperor card. We have some challenging outcomes coming your way. Or challenging outcomes that you have experienced in the past that is causing you to not want to make certain choices or certain decisions in a matter of love, life, or work. Hmm. Let's just give this a shuffle because I had cards fall out of my hand. Hmm. The Knight of Coins wanted to come out on the Eight of Swords. So we have connected to nature. You might need to get out in nature. If you can, it is the winter months. Some places it's cold. So you might want to bring some plants in the house to make you feel closer to nature. We have Virgo energy. You are hardworking and responsive. Oh, you're protective and people know it. And you're persistent, but stubborn and loyal. Hmm. We have the page of coins on the two of cups. This is someone you wanted to lay a foundation with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could also be you setting goals, possibly for the new year, or just to plan your life out. This is grounded energy. This is hard working energy. You might be having some good news come in after a period of going through some things. Clarify the two of pentacles, Holy Spirit. Okay, we have the three of wands clarifying this. In order to manifest your dreams, you have to lay that foundation. Hmm. And then we also had that came out the four of coins. You have to come out of that scarcity mindset in order to manifest what you want. Capricorn energy. And remember, in order to receive new, you have to let go of the old. So releasing yourself from that hoarder spirit someone also could be very possessive when it comes to you your energy or your possessions we do on the nine of pentacles have the will of fortune in the upright so once you make these decisions and you start letting go of material attachments and laying the foundation we see the will has gone from the reverse which came out earlier to in the upright. This is you taking a chance, completing cycles, karma coming your way, walking in your destiny, good luck, expansion. On the Four of Swords, after some solitude, we see you walking in the Queen of Coins, Taurus energy. All right, this is a consummate hostess. Sometimes, People may take you for granted because you are the gracious host. You have impeccable taste, so people trust your judgment. This is a card of prosperity, organization, and being grounded. So after you do what you need to do, which is to get yourself organized, things start to work in your favor, intuitive community. You may even have to walk away from those people, places, and things that no longer serve you, which is the Eight of Cups, Pisces, and Angels. It's time to move on and to let go of the past. And then you will find your Ten of Cups 
All right, but this is the Ten of Cups in the reverse because you still have some imbalance with the Four of Cups. There is still some holding on of things from the past. This is you doing some shadow work to clear your energy. You are a specialist. You are very detailed. This is one of Seven of Wands. All right, this is what you have been protecting could be a business that you started. Could be an achievement. Clarify the lovers. Mm, we have the three of cups. We have the time to celebrate. There will be celebration. All right. We have Virgo energy with the eight of coins. And we have Cancer energy with three of cups. Someone may be even returning into your energy as this is a card of reunions. But it's also of collaborative artistic pursuit. So someone could be coming in to help you in your endeavors. Wow, okay. These three cards came out on the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Ace of Cups. Overflowing love is coming your way. Or this is what you're trying to manifest. We have Cancer Pisces. Scorpio energy. We do have you gaining wisdom in this situation. Unveiling secrets. Within the next two or three weeks. You may be reevaluating your plans. Getting a new perspective. Hmm. And we have the Ace of Wands. A passionate new start. So you are looking for the Ace of Cups. Things are going to be revealing. You are going to be rethinking, reevaluating your plan, starting a new plan for this passionate new start, this new beginning. This could even be a new relationship. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius here. Hmm. All right, let's wrap this up. Holy Spirit, what final messages do you have for the intuitive community? Somebody could be all in their feelings in their head. That could be you. That could be the person you're thinking about. Hmm. Hmm. We have big, something big is happening. We have narc supply, so be careful of the narcissist that they don't prey on you. You have someone who could be a narcissist that wants you to unblock them. They want to talk to you. Why do they want to talk to the intuitive community? Because they're feeling grief. They could have experienced a loss. It could have been a lo loss of you. It could have been a loss financially. It could have been a loss of a lover, a family member. Mm. We have Gemini energy. We have old love. So you can have a Gemini who is an old love or a Sagittarius. You could be a Sagittarius with unfinished business with an air sign. You or this person has been tapped into the Holy Spirit because of the karma that has been happening. Mm. Someone could be in love with an earth sign. We have gamble in the reverse. So somebody is not taking that risk or you're not taking that risk on this person again. Hmm. I feel like for some of you, you're going to shut this person down. But no, everything is in God's hands when it comes to this. You have someone who's scared of you in real life. Someone who could be intimidating. Now we have risk coming out, but it's sideways. So someone is contemplating taking a risk toward you. Or you're contemplating taking a risk when it comes to business or life. Hmm. Wow, that's the message that I have for you. I hope this helped you in your journey. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.